Okay, so this is the last uh, part of the leads management. So I had it written down as what does a leads manager do? So this, if you're the leads manager, you're going to do this. The question really is if you have someone just in the role of leads manager, what is their job? So uh, there's different, two different opinions here. The first opinion is that they should be doing intake only. So uh, answering the, uh, the calls or the inquiries from new leads, and maybe reaching out to someone who would put an inquiry online and only dealing with the first, the first part of the process. Um, and if you have enough leads coming in, then that re is really one person's job. Um, we have our leads manager doing follow-up also. Um, maybe we don't have enough leads coming in to, to justify that if we get to a point where, where I hope my leads manager is talking to new people uh, all day. Um, but we have her doing follow-up. There are people who who say that uh, they should not be the same person. There are people who say it should be the same person. There are also people who say the acquisitions manager, the one who's actually going to meet with the client, um, should be the one dealing with their own leads. So there's a lot of different things. But the basic job of the leads manager is to qualify and disqualify people and determine whether an appointment is to be set. Um, but also, for our leads manager, it's to follow up with them uh, because most of the people you're going to talk to are not going to uh, make an appointment right away. And most of the people you are going to make an appointment with are not going to agree to sell it to you right away. So follow-up is a huge part of it. And we're going to talk about follow-up. Uh, we're going to give it a whole uh, section of, uh, of time. But that's basically a lease manager position.